Look what I just got in. Why did I buy it? Well, stick with me and I'll explain. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you why I picked up this new Monoprice Mini Delta. So, as you can see kind of over here, I've had a Delta for quite a while, and I've been really impressed with how the Delta performs and also the quality that the Delta produces. I think actually for some pieces, uh, especially complex pieces like this with a lot of angles and that kind of stuff, the Delta does a better job than the Cartesian, which I've got the Monoprice Mini just to the other side off camera that you can't see there. So this, is, this whole row is about eight foot long and this is my smaller printer farm. But I really want to talk about this guy. So I did a lot of homework before picking it up it does have its issues, and I think one of its biggest issues is the power supply. It's 12 volt, 5 amp, which is really underpowered because the Monoprice Mini, which again is off camera over there, the version 1 has a 12 volt, 10 amp power supply. And as you've probably seen in a prior video, I just replaced the power supply after about three years. So this really needs the larger power supply. So when I ordered this, I also purchased the uh, bigger power supply, the 10 amp power supply, which it's the same connector and everything as the Monoprice Mini Select 1. Uh, however, this firmware, as I understand it, does not allow you to use the 10 amp power supply. So I will be flashing the firmware. I will be making some other modifications to this. I want to do a couple prints just to make sure everything works because if it doesn't, I want to be able to return it to Amazon, get my money back or get another one. So this is the first print. So I printed this gear out. You'll be seeing this gear, um, not really a gear, but actually it's a thumb screw in an upcoming episode. So, and it did a great job. I didn't do, use any special Cura settings. Uh, out of the box. I wanted to use Cura because I just wanted it to kind of be straight up and see what it could do and it did not as with most Monoprice minis disappoint. Uh, the bed, ooh, that was another piece that a lot of people said uh, really holds the part down. It sure does. Uh, the one piece that you do have if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll have a link down below if you're interested in it, is you do have to put the G29 code in there for it to auto level because when I first set it up, I imported the Kira profile. It did not work correctly. So I had to go in and hand edit the start of G-code to do that. After I did, worked wonderfully. Uh, outside of that, uh, I've been pretty happy with it. Again, this is really the first print. It's about a two hour long print and uh, did a great job. I'll probably be running it up in the corner so you can see it as it prints. And so super happy. Because my real idea with this is I want to do uh, finer parts with it. Actually, down below, I've got the uh, Igu Mars uh, SLA printer down there, which I, I'm going to do uh, really fine prints too. But I've been really happy with the Monoprice Mini Select 1. And again, it's getting pretty long in the tooth. And I like this guy over here, and I use this guy a lot, but it does not have a heated bed. And I think that's one of the big shortcomings. I may see if I can modify this because you can buy the replacement bed heating elements for this guy over here. So I figured, what the heck, why not? I'll try to upgrade this and see what the electronics look like up there to see if it can support the thermistor and uh, the other uh, pad. Because now this guy has a 12 volt 8 amp power supply, which also kind of works with the Monoprice Mini over there. So, so again, the 5 amp is woefully under under uh, powered. So anyways, just wanted to let you guys know what I was up to. And uh, again, I think if, you're, if you want to do smaller, high quality parts like figurines, this is the guy to go with. Print them all as surface layers. And I think you can get some amazing uh, figurines, parts, etc. So I'll be doing more in the future. And I'm going to be doing some other upgrades. Uh, definitely firmware is going to be one first on the list. Bed modifications probably second. I might do the extruder. I don't know yet. I probably will replace the PTFE tube with Capricorn. I've already ordered that. Um, so and I'll keep you posted with what I do. And we'll see how it all works out in the end. So anyways, I thought you guys might be interested in this little bit of uh, update. So if you were, give it a big thumbs up. If you got one of these and you have some tips or tricks, hit me up. I know this guy's been out for a while. Again, I've had this one for a while, so I've just kind of held off buying it. 
But a actually, I had another GTEC which sort of matched the Monoprice Mini Select 1 that just gave up the ghost. And so I wanted to get another re uh, printer to replace it, so I got this one. So anyways, hit me up in the comments below if you got one of these. What do you think? What did you modify? What should I modify if I missed anything? And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on more.